Pass 2 could just be branded, could be subtitled. Fighters Pass 2, run away. Okay, so now the same matchup. But, um, blah, blah, blah. but a different Samus. I was going to say, I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. Uh, so we're going to be starting off game one uh, on PS2, and I'm going to upload the VOD, so take it away. Yeah, the Christmas tree glowing with the bounce to boot and another psych up. Suzano has just locked and loaded these buffs, finds the back air, and from behind to the lead just like that. He is playing so incredibly ignorant right now. Matching every charge shot with a fireball. Oh, rolling into shield because he just doesn't care about your CQC buttons. He wants to get you uncomfortable with them. Stage Hazard is being playing more of a CQC game. He's comfortable moving around you and trying to force Suzano to swing. But the issue with Samus trying to just come in aggressively and not mix in those, those zoning tools is that... At the end of the day, Hero still has a sword, right? Still has a disjoint that just is gonna beat you out in the scrapping range. And then, unless you can read faster than the Hero player does, and good luck with that, it's so hard to actually react to what projectiles they're throwing out. Well, well. Suzano's juggle game as well just has been, in both games, immaculate. He has done such a good job finding his way with a limited mobility character to stay under his opponent, scouting out their recovery routes with some creative projectile use, with some creative you know, movement and menu usage to kind of trap you into landing on those platforms. And against both Mishka earlier and Stage Hazard now, he has locked it in finds the boom there to boot and a extra buff and we once again Mishka warmed him up nice and well it's the Suzano show here on PS2 ladies and gentlemen and psych up gonna finally get caught out as that neutral air facing away the slight delay on the frame data is gonna catch Suzano off guard and Suz stage has are trying to take this one to the bank Ank racking on the damage. Great timer bomb there at the edge of the plat, but didn't quite commit on that second forward air afterwards. Tried to recover the situation, but that one window was all Suzano needed to lock the game down and keep it out of reach. This interaction is gorgeous. He could have forward air there, but looked for the jab instead. Then got caught mm. tricky in the strap situation, and if you watch what happens here, when he does get hit, he goes into... He F tilts. Oh, this is the Holy this shit. is the next clip. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the final stock. Yeah, but so good watch, god. And now watch again what happens, how he actually takes the stock. It's a timer bomb from Suzano that comes out. Whoa. Yeah, he he jumps and you see there he curls up there. That's the startup of the timer bomb. He was trying to find a down special to continue his extension. And, but Suzano Reddy has been playing very disciplined, Devin, and not able to get caught out on much of anything. Something that's really interesting is uh, from the previous set to this one, Suzano's bans have changed. They're now FD and Kalos. No longer uh, Smashville and I forget where I was before. Yeah, he's he's banning for the player. He, yeah. er, he, uh, he He's not banning for the character, right? He, he wants to force you to... Like, he is, he is saying, hey, Stage Hazard plays a lot more aggressive than Mishka does, so I'm going to make him have to play more defensive to beat me. I want Mishka to have to play more aggressive to beat me because he's a defensive player. And he's forcing these players out of their comfort zones and he's doing a great job capitalizing on that discomfort. All right, so this time Stage Hazard able to take the first stock. And this is going to, you know... This is where Samus is her strongest, unless she dies right here. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, listen, I don't know what special tax bracket Hero is in, but Suzano's catching every break in the book right now out from Tom Truly. Nook. Look, getting all the RNG. Honestly, at this rate, we might just see Suzano open up a casino here on the Animal Crossing Island.
A little bit of tricky movement once again. Suzano not necessarily trying to swing with that first forward air, but just trying to cover the space, right? Make Stage Hazard uncomfortable coming down. Um, um, try and go to a suboptimal place, and that conditioning is what's giving him so many openings there, right? Forcing himself to ledge, like it's giving, making Stage Hazard have less buttons to get out of dodge. And if not for the difficulty of control that Accelerado brought, Susano might have been able to lock that one down. I'm really loving uh, every snooze. What a Good catch, God. too. Lining up that up smash. I still, I still want to pay the. Uh, the accolades to I see that Stage Hazard is doing a lot is just like you know using Samus's like aerial mobility to just kind of like play the positioning and just like wait for uh, Susano to commit to something uh, and like I think it's doing a lot better versus what we saw like in the previous set where you know Mishka was kind of like always attaching a button to his movement yeah. and Stage Hazard is like doing a lot more positional like threats and know? he's also been comfortable mixing in those neutral layers to make State or Susano start to second guess some of those commitments on the approach. Unfortunately, not gonna be enough as the fear of snooze once again, allowing Susano to lock it in and do not sleep on the king right now because the hero is present and he's one game away from grand finals, Devin. Yeah, so let's see, so here was, this was a snooze, right? Yeah, all three, all yeah. three kills were related to snooze. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, again, do not sleep on this hero player. Wow. Because he will make you pay seven days a week. Stage Hazard getting betrayed there by the moving platform. Top 10 anime betrayals, if you ask me. All right. So now we're going to FD. Mm -hmm. So Susano had uh, previously banned FD and Kalos, but then for this game, uh, got rid of Town and Kalos. Actually, yeah, that makes sense because, you know, we just saw that last game go kind of a little bit too close for comfort. And this time we have, like, wider sides. So, you know, Samus hasn't been, like, really killing off the top in these games. So it would make sense to just give yourself that extra wiggle room. Yeah. Wider sides and also no blocks or no platforms here, right? Yeah. Hero does have limited mobility. And, well, yeah, bounce is scary, right? Bounce just lets Hero do whatever they want to you on this stage. They can't always have bounce. There's only four bounces, I believe, you can get per stock. And once those are gone, that's it. So you have to play that patience, wait it out. But once they do, ooh, Samus is going to be so good at keeping out a character with the limited mobility that Hero brings to the table. All right. We're getting really up there for, for these, these first stocks. And it looked like, you know, right now, Stage Hazard kind of in the driver's seat and is able to secure that first kill. Now, we've seen over and over again that Susano's revenge kills are insane. Will, will we get ones? Uh. Catching out the patience, though, oh, Stage Hazard is going to avoid getting called out. Oh. The dash attack makes up first time, Devin, here in top eight. We've seen that button push by move, right? Susano. Link has that, too. Yep. <laughs> it makes the same hya sound, too. Yeah, they're, they're just all screaming protagonists. <laughs> if you are an anime swordsman from an RPG, Ooh. you just yell a lot. I am loving the fact that Susano is taking advantage of the passive shield. What? <laughs> yeah, the huh? grab invulnerability. It was as the grab was connecting. And I think also some sort of hurtbox shift. Z-axis. Let's see what ha if we can see what happens here in the replay, Devin. And it's in it was hard to quite catch. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, no, it was, okay. Yeah, yeah. it was already blocked. Yeah, it was already blocked. It was already right. blocked. Okay, that was I was like, well, yeah, what what <laughs> quite happened? Some something walking for sure. Susano trying to hold on to the stock. Will you have to make a revenge kill yet again? No sump. It's just going to be a slight misspacing on that down smash to give him another chance. And full on scrap. The blast zones this time coming in against him, Devin. Susano's discipline has been insane tonight. Okay. Yeah, Sage Hazard. Uh Keeping the lead going, uh, but you know, Susano's definitely putting up a really good fight. Actually, you know what? The more I think about it, being only at 50% with a now a full stock lead, Sage are kind of cleaning up on this on this third game. Uh, yeah. You know, the only frustrating thing is going to be. Uh, I was say, Devin, who said Final Destination had no stage hazards? Because I see one right here, and it is terrifying. Yeah, it's trying to recover right now. Who let stage? Who let them do that? I thought there was supposed to be a toggle in this game. 
can't turn this guy off. All right, so yeah, Susano actually doing an incredible job of uh, racking a lot of percent, uh, making it now. Honestly, if he's able to get the, uh, the stock, it's going to be even. Uh, and that kind of is going to put, like, you know, the momentum in Susano's favor because, like, right now he's got a lock on him. Yeah, the thing that Stage Hazard is benefiting from, though, living this long, is he's able to make these bounces, make these heals, right? Finite resources per stock, essentially go oh, away for the rest oh, of the set. Easy. And now that Psych Up is burned, earned right from Susano, he has no buffs to go into last stock and down 45%. And he does not have a lot of tools to work with that really allow him to create openings without any extra platforms to mix his movement. One bounce used down, Devin. Can he make it count? He's certainly finding a way in, using it to get some extra buffs. Ooh. Jesus Christ. Susano is going to be making it into winner side of Grands. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Are we, uh, Devin? Are we sure that Vivi didn't sneak into the Arcadian somehow, Just a like Mission bit, Impossible yeah. style? Like, <sighs> wow! Like, hold on. <laughs> so we're actually uh, our next set is going to our next stream set is going to be Pete Bro versus the winner of Mishka and Make Make. So once let's flip through these uh, these replays, uh, we can actually take a look at how that's going to sort out. Yeah, I'm definitely interested to see that one. Um, but this set, Devin, That's it's just the, the adjustments from Susano, right? That discipline. I felt like he never swung first. It yeah. felt like every button he pushed was a reaction to his opponents. And whether that was because he had the lead or just because he was being kind of threatening, standing there glowing different colors. There, it didn't matter. There was nowhere for 